mom is up in her room. She don't want to come out right now. But child, mom, you better get up. It's not the time to play. She better get up right now. I swear to God. Mom! I don't know what she doing. What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl, Joy. Back with another Basil Banger. I know it's a little dark. This is how I'm feeling today. Well, as you can tell from the title, that I quit YouTube. I swear to God. I swear to God. I just dug my camera back out. I just took it back out. And I'm in my running clothes. I went running today. I'm about to run again. Um, so I'm doing two a days. Because my nerves are bad. Um, I don't even know what day today is. I think it's Saturday. A couple of days after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? No bueno. No bueno. The kids work my nerves so bad. I swear on a stack of Bibles. I quit YouTube. I told the kids, forget it. I locked myself in my room for two days. Let me tell you, being a single parent isn't easy. Trying to keep family together isn't easy. You know, just feel like you try and try and try. And then I get the resistance. I think I had a complete breakdown. And I tell you, I just think I let the floodgates out. Because I tried to control my crying. I just let it all out. Locked myself in my room. Let it all out. I just let a lot out. A lot of different emotions that all just merged together into one tsunami. And when I cry, cry, I'm like for like hours and hours crying, just have that emotional release. Um, my eyes get puffy. They're still puffy. They're, they're still puffy. Um, Friday, they were almost sealed shut. Um, Today is Saturday, so they're a little better. I still have bags, so maybe by tomorrow. So I let my good cry out. I refuse <laughs> to do any more crying. I put up all my lights. I put my lights away. I put my, I'm surprised I found this camera and this stand. I put that away. Um, literally locked myself in my room for two days. Surprisingly, nobody bothered me. Well, Saturday. I got up to drive Bobby to basketball practice. I had to do that Friday and Saturday. And it's just not easy. It hasn't been easy. As a single mom, I know a lot of people, single parents out there, we all deal with things differently. I'm not you, you're not me. Okay, so, and Bobby, I think and I wrote the kids uh, a long message because we have a group a group chat and you know why I felt so hurt and so disappointed of wanting to do something as a family because Thanksgiving Day is like that's the day that we commit to be in a family you know nobody has any other plans we're all home so I want to do something as a family it would have taken 30 40 minutes or whatever and they just argued with me the whole time. Why do we have to go? No, we, it's time to eat. We're gonna, we're gonna eat later and later. And I am a free-spirited person. So I may change my mind at the drop of a hat. I may say, let's just go now. Let's live on the edge of our seats. Sometimes I'll do stuff I'll think later. Maybe that's why I'm always in trouble. Um, and I was just like, let's just go. Let's just do it. It'll be 40 minutes. We'll be right back, but let's go. It is rare that all four of us are together and out of the house. I can't remember the last time all, all, all four of us were in the car together. I don't remember that. 
I, I don't remember that at all. So I was like, let's do this. Let's get ready for Vlogmas. Let's try to do our little intro. There's a beautiful tree. Nobody wanted to do it. it. It just, and they argued so much, the kids, as to why they shouldn't do it. Clinton, uh, why do I have to go? Why do we need to do that? Why this, why this? Let's just do it. And I think I just, I just, I just shut down. I'm like, I'm tired of trying to keep us together. Um, and I'm, I will say the channel has helped a lot, you know, to do family stuff together, you know, talk about my frustrations because we do talk off camera too. Um, you know, doing family stuff and we've bonded quite a bit over with the channel. And I was like, you know, I don't want to keep forcing it on. You don't want to do it. Why don't I just give up this YouTube? You know, we had 25 days of activities to do for Vlogmas. Bobby wrote them down. But when I was like, I need the intro, let's go, let's go, let's just do it. We'll be right back. I, I, I was just exhausted from trying to get us all together as a unit. It was, it was, it wasn't good. Anyway, so I quit YouTube. I took the app off my phone, off my computer. Um, I just shut down everything. Um, I took down all the lights. I put all the lights away in the house. And I just cried Friday. Friday for hours and it was other things too it was a little bit it was the whole family thing but then you had merging of all the other floodgates of things that just collided with all everything else <laughs> so this is what Bobby made may not be able to see it really well she made me a little card she slipped it underneath my door And then she wrote a oh, whole. She wrote a lot of stuff. Um, and she says, I just wanted to apologize for yesterday. I'm truly so, so sorry. If I could go back and change the whole day, I would in a heartbeat, but I can't. So I want you to know how sorry I am for what happened. I don't want to make excuses for my behavior, but I was just so stressed out with all the cooking and we still had so much to do. Um, I just didn't want us to eat so late. I'm sorry, but I do not let our selfish actions stop you from doing something that you love. Don't quit YouTube. You are such a positive figure and role model, not only in our lives, but in the lives of others of hundreds of other people don't stop on our account keep going for the people who look forward to your touching and sometimes drama filled videos you bring new light and freshness and realness to that platform keep going mom and another thing i don't care how mad at us you are i will never stop appreciating and loving you mom you don't realize how much I love and appreciate you. You're truly the light in my life and the reason why I push myself. And she went on and on. And I just thought that was really, really sweet. And so she told me, you know, don't give up, blah, blah, blah. Sydney, she has nothing to say. Clinton, he's in the, he's in the, he's in la la land. I'm, I'm done with Clinton. I'm going to try my best <laughs> not to have too much more to say about Clinton. I appreciate all the comments and all that stuff. Feedback with Clinton. He did go speak to the pastor, but Clinton's a charmer. He he's Clinton's a, he's very charming, very very charming. So I'm not I'm not even gonna talk about Clinton. You know, if something is done and I and it's done, I'll say what has been done, not what I plan to do because you know I get too much backlash and X, Y, and Z, but so what, what, after, the, after the fact, I'll let y'all know, but 
So I would say on Thanksgiving, I did not eat Thanksgiving. I just left, locked myself in my room. I didn't eat Thanksgiving dinner. All I had was breakfast that Thursday. And so I'm like, that's around 10 o'clock. Friday, I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat lunch. I probably ate around 6. So that was some serious fasting. I just had no appetite. I was in total shutdown, total <sighs> breakdown mode. I was just, oof, I was no good. Um, it was like the joy left my body. <clears throat> the joy left my soul. And I was like, will I ever get my joy back? I don't know. That's how it felt. I felt like my spirit had been shattered I mean it was it wasn't good and I told my cousin that you know I quit YouTube and she's really a big you know supporter and it encourages me a lot and she's like what the flipper <laughs> what the f <laughs> she was like no I listen to you every day and my autistic grandson he likes to hear your voice what, what are you talking about <laughs> Uh, so, you know, she's like, no, you can't do that. Then my friends, you know, I was texting my friend, one friend, she was so sweet. She was like, um, Joy, so she was a little worried. She was like, can I come up for a plate? I was like, maybe later. I'm not feeling it. Maybe tomorrow. She's so, here comes tomorrow. She was trying to text me and stuff. And here comes the next day. Can I come for that plate now? And I was like, fine, <laughs> you can come for the plate. So she came over, she was here in a heartbeat and she stayed for a couple of hours and we talked and talked and talked So it was good. She was like, yeah, I had to make sure you were okay. She said, I tried, you know, uh, Thanksgiving day. I just was not having it Thanksgiving day. I was like, I'm locked in my room. I'm really not feeling it right now. She tried Friday. I just wasn't in the mood Friday. So she eventually made her day over. Um, today is Saturday, so I do appreciate um, that. Um, so, f Friday, I did get up Friday. I did get up Friday. I watched a Christmas movie, and it was such a cute Christmas movie. And it puts me in, you know, a good mood. And um, I did get up that evening. And I pulled out the tree, rearranged the living room. I rearranged the living room to accommodate the tree, you know, we're in a, you know, smaller space now. So I had to really rearrange. It's a little tight, but <laughs> the way I had to arrange the room, but I didn't decorate it, but I did pull out. It was super heavy and I had to get a ladder to, you know, assemble the tree. And I did put that up and fluff out the leaves and I had the fireplace going and I was playing Christmas music. Um... The girls, they came out to eat. They didn't say anything to me. I didn't say anything to them. Um, so I guess, you know, I was still, I'm still in my feelings. So maybe tomorrow, Sunday, we can decorate the tree together and so on and so forth. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm just, I'm just tired, guys. You know how you try and try so much. I, I just broke on Thanksgiving Day. The damn broke the floodgates open <laughs> i quit youtube I swear to god i was done so i don't know i just wanted to give you an update that i did quit youtube i did bobby begged me not to my cousin my friends they was like are you serious she's they was like i don't think so you better put bring that camera back out <laughs> I'm gonna hang in there guys I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hang in there but ooh, these kids child they gonna make my nerves not, not make my nerves bad they have made my nerves bad Thanksgiving was the last straw it was the last straw not straw straw well I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving I will try to upload the video I think it was Sydney and I in a grocery store and I was working on my dance moves child I was in a good mood but mm -mm. and then Bobby I realized 
Bobby has a trait from her dad. Her dad is has a little OCD. Like if he's cutting something, it has to be all the same size. And if he cooked, he would stress out everybody in the house when he would cook. He would cook on Mondays. And it was so stressful and it would take him so long to cook. But it was so stressful. It was so stressful. It was it was stressful. And Bobby wanted to do a lot of the cooking for Thanksgiving and I saw some of those same characteristics in her. The celery, oral celery was the same size. She kind of chopped celery. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh Lord, the fruit does not fall far from the tree. That she was stressed out with the cooking. I said, your dad does the same thing. He would do the same thing, get stressed out with cooking and then have the attitudes with everybody. And oof, it was rough. She didn't have attitudes with anybody at all. She didn't have that. But she was stressed out. I, know, I just feel as though some things in life, it's some things in life is just not that serious. I guess that's just that free-spirited part of my nature. I'm like, it's, it's not that serious. Even if her dad was making hamburgers, and you know you have all the fixings to go with the hamburgers, that would stress the entire house out. All the hamburger had to be, patties had to be neat, special, everything. Every, all the sides chopped up, meticulously chopped up and put in cute bowls. Or it was too, it was too much. Child, don't throw bacon in the mix because now you got the burgers and the bacon you got to deal with. Child, oh, don't throw some, some sauteed onions and some sauteed mushrooms. That's extra work. That's extra attitude, extra stress for the whole house. Let me just, just give me a cup of water with some ice and we'll call it good. How about that? Because I don't need this added stress. All right, guys, let me get out of here. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm going to hang in there, guys. But those kids about to make me quit YouTube. I was done. Let me get this quick little run in. Before I have to go get Sydney, she's babysitting, so I have to go pick her up. <sighs> this single parent is not easy. I didn't sign up for this. I did not sign up for this hot mess. And like I said before, and I'm saying it again, we all deal with things differently. I'm not you, you're not me, okay? So don't judge me. Just like I say, some people want to say I'm weak and it's okay, I'll take it, whatever you say. Oof, it's just, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, y'all. All right, guys. Give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe.